So the idea that this is somehow an assassination attempt is nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. That is CNN legal analyst Elliot Williams trashing Marjorie Taylor Greene over this. Marjorie Taylor Greene claims the Biden DOJ and FBI are planning to assassinate Trump. What are Republicans going to do about it? Green pointed to page 11 of the Mar-a-Lago search warrant that says law enforcement officers of the Department of Justice may use deadly force when necessary. And MTG tweeted, the Biden DOJ and FBI are planning to assassinate Trump and gave the green light. CNN's Ellie Honig. This is ridiculous. There's nothing to see here. It is, if anything, a very tight limit on when you can use lethal force. Almost never. It appears in every search warrant, every ops plan, operational plan, ops plan. But Green also tweeted... Were they going to shoot Secret Service and President Trump, Melania, and Barron too? There is nothing to this. The notion that there's something dangerous, wrong, I I'm hesitant to even dignify the assassination talk by even mentioning it, but completely but, out of line. Look, it started, as many things do, with Donald Trump. He tweeted about the FBI authorization to use force, did not mention the form was standard, and added, now we know for sure that Joe Biden is a serious threat to democracy. Green parroted the crap. But her assassination nonsense sparked an even bigger social media backlash. Keith Oberman, Trump wasn't there, you enfeebled imbecile. These rules apply to every FBI search, every one. Your damaged brain, your inability to recognize your own evil, and the bullshit you spew, we're gonna get somebody else hurt or killed. Shut the f up, Barney Rubble. That's a reference to Green's allegedly ugly feet. Liam Neeson, oh, shut your dumb Sasquatch mouth, Marge. Everything you say is a lie. And Chidi, yet another proof that you need professional mental health care and should be kept in a safe environment where you cannot harm yourself or others. But Green seems oblivious to it all. They aren't going to back off of what they are doing. One day before her lunatic tweet, she went on Alex Jones' Infowars show and insisted Democrats want Trump killed. They want President Trump dead. They want to lock him up in jail for the rest of his life so that he dies in jail. And they want to take away his Secret Service protection so that he is murdered somewhere in jail, possibly. The Democrats want Trump murdered, possibly in jail. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene has now murdered her own reputation again. More on that in a moment. For the mega faithful, the stress is clearly getting to all of them, including Donald Trump. Weeks ago, Trump pledged to testify at his New York criminal trial in his own defense. You plan to testify in your trial in New York? Yeah, I would testify, absolutely. It's a scam. It's a scam. Are you going to testify? Yes. 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 Uh, probably so. I would like to. I mean, I think so. Headline, New Republic, pathetic Trump chickens out of testifying in hush money trial. Donald Trump won't testify in his first criminal trial. What's he so scared of? He was lying about testifying because he would perjure himself on the stand and he was afraid of what he would have to admit about this tawdry encounter with a porn star and a payoff through uh, Michael Cohen. Trump's legal team, of course, insists that the judge should throw out the entire case. It's time to wrap this case up, throw it out. If this judge wants any credibility back, that's what he should do. There should have well, been a directed verdict. There should have been a mistrial. The judge already ruled against a mistrial once, and there are no legal experts who think the case should be or will be thrown out. And speaking of credibility, Alina Haba said Trump would testify. Habba and other defense lawyers now say the case is not worthy of Trump's testimony. And Trump himself has opened a new line of attack against the judge. The former president accused the judge of hating him and having bias against him because of where the judge comes from. The judge hates Donald Trump. Just take a look. Take a look at him. Take a look at where he comes from. He can't stand Donald Trump. He's doing everything in his power. The judge was born in Columbia, and when he was six years old, he moved with his family to the Queens borough of New York City. That's the same borough where Donald Trump is from. Although the bloviated former president was raised in the wealthy neighborhood of Jamaica States and Juan Mershon grew up in Jackson Heights, one of the most diverse neighborhoods in New York City. It's far more than just concerning or, or, or nerve-wracking. I mean, this is just open, blatant racism that has now been sort of 
mainstreamed into American political life. Just take a look at him. Just say, seriously? It, it, like, what is this, 1933? I, it is, it still needs to be shocking to us today. But sadly, the Trump lies, bigotry, and racism are not shocking, at least to nearly half of America. And the Trump talking points that he is a victim or was being targeted for assassination get picked up and repeated dutifully by the Stooges on Fox News. Major bombshell in the Trump documents case. The FBI authorized the use of deadly force during the Mar-a-Lago raid. Uh, the current U.S. AG Merrick Garland said that he personally approved of this raid on Mar-a-Lago. Mm -hmm. So realistically, does that mean that AG Garland looked at the search warrant, saw the words shoot and kill, and gave it the rubber stamp? Absolutely. If he said he personally approved it. If Garland personally approved it, absolutely. He gave shoot and kill the rubber stamp. That is what passes for analysis on parts of Fox News these days. But Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is even more despicable. And here's why. Greene is consistently unhinged. She says things that are bad crazy all the time. This week, it was the Trump assassination plan. The week before, Greene tried to body shame a Democratic congressman during a House hearing. Well, you the one talking about, I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, ain't reading. nothing. Hold on, hold on. This <laughs> Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath even you, order. Order. The week before that, Green tried and failed to dump House Republican Speaker Mike Johnson. This Republican Party is not ready, and they proved it today. As a matter of fact, they proved they're ready to do everything with the Democrats. This is like the congressional version of a temper tantrum. Most of us, by the time we turn 12 years old, figure out that tantrums don't actually work, and apparently not everybody in Congress has got the memo. Ms. Green, all she wants is attention. And, and today we shut her down. I mean, the entire Congress has said enough is enough. Uh, we don't need to hear from her anymore. Our constituents sent us up here to make very difficult decisions and to govern, not to do a junior high school reality television program. The green reality program keeps getting worse and it is dangerous because if MAGA lunatics actually think President Biden wants Donald Trump assassinated, it's not a stretch to imagine there may be one mega lunatic out there who attempts to take out President Biden first. That's what Green is inviting. It is horrifying and beyond contempt. And it shows that with Marjorie Taylor Green, there is literally no limit to her hideous depravity and stench. By the way, comedian Bill Barr is ripping Marjorie Taylor Green and attacking other MAGA lawmakers as well. They're just there to do performative nonsense. They're there to, like, I burnish their credentials to get a, a, a show on Fox the, News or the, something. The border deal just, uh, is and also, a and just example. People like Marjorie Taylor Greene and just real mental midgets that who, I, I, they are not interested in legislation. They don't know how it works. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Michael Copelander who wrote, you can officially refer to anyone still bowing down to Trump as those who worship evil's might. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Marjorie Taylor Greene claiming Democrats want Trump killed. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.